guys welcome back to take Dose. and in this video we will see the equal row and column pairs problem which is from lead code number 2352 and the prerequisite before uh, solving this is to watch my video on try and the link will be in the i button and also in the description below you should watch this learn try and then come back to this problem so let's now read the problem statement in this problem uh, we are given a zero indexed n by n integer uh, matrix grid return the number of pairs ri comma cj such that the row and the column ri cj are equal a row and column pair is considered equal if they contain the same elements in the exact same order right that means they are an equal array so let's look at an example for better understanding in the problem statement you have an n by n integer matrix let's take a 4 by 4 matrix and these are all the values as you can see you have four rows and four columns our goal is to find the number of row and column matches right now in this case you see that row number three and row number four are exactly matching but that will not contribute to the final answer okay so you have to always match a row with the columns now let's uh, proceed so let's start matching the first row so this is a row number zero three one two two is there any column 3122 yes there is a column 3122 and how many 3122 columns are there only one column right so we can keep a counter which will start from zero and for every row i will search each and every column so i just have one column exactly in the same sequence as 3122 and so this will contribute to count being one now let's proceed to the second row in the second row it is 1445 is there any column which is having 1445 you see there is no column okay there will be no column now let's proceed to the third row 2422 is there any column with the same value 2422 so let's proceed with the first column it is not matching second column not matching third column it is 2422 so it is matching and therefore this contributes to one match and there is no other column 2422 let's now proceed to the next row which is again 2422 is there any column matching yes this uh, third column is matching therefore this will contribute to one count and therefore your final answer after checking for all the rows against every column for each row you get the count of matches equals to three and this is your answer okay so you need to remember that you cannot match two different rows or you cannot match two different columns a row has to be always matched with a column okay now using that simple approach what we did was we picked each row and we were iterating for every column and we were finding how many columns are there which exactly matches the given row okay so the time complexity in this case will be order of number of rows multiplied by the number of columns which will be order of n to the power of 4 because you know that the number of rows will be n and and there will be n number of items in every row okay and the same goes for the number of columns you have n columns and there will be exactly n elements per column so the total number of matches that you are doing for this entire operation is n to the power of 4 if you look at the constraint in the problem then you will find that the n value is less than equals to 200 so you can find it here n is less than equals to 200 and based on that we will take the max value of n which is 2 into 10 to the power of 2 which is 200 and take the max value of the time complexity n to the power of 4 and you will see it will be 1.6 into 10 to the power of 9 and in order to solve this problem within the given time limit you should be able to solve it within one second and one second is equivalent to 10 to the power 8 operations that we will assume and therefore this is more than 10 to the power 8 operation so this technique will give you time limit exceeded okay so even without solving the problem you will know why the simple approach doesn't work okay you can mathematically prove it now let's not see some observation about this problem this problem is exactly similar to a string matching problem in this case if you have the row as 277 then it will not match a column 727 and also it will not match the column 772 but it will exactly match the column again 277 having the same unique elements with the same frequency and in the exact same order so it is equivalent to saying that if i had 277 comma separated and converted into string format 
then I can just do two st uh, proper string matches. And if they match, then I will say that uh, they are uh, they are the same. The row and column are matching. Otherwise, they do not match. So this entire problem uh, can be rephrased as from a dictionary of all the columns. That means uh, given a n by n matrix, we convert every column into bunch of string. Let's say string 1, string 2, string 3 and so on. That means n number of strings. And that will form a dictionary of strings and from that dictionary we need to find the count of strings that matches any given row okay so for every row we can iterate and we can keep on matching into the dictionary of the column strings and find out the word count so this problem is the same as search the word count in a dictionary okay so if you have understood the derivation of this problem uh, then you must be knowing that uh, you can solve this very easily and optimally using a try. So I hope you have already watched my try video where I have explained in detail how to do all kind of try operations like try insert, try search, erase and all uh, and all the other operations, right? I would like to announce about our live training programs, data structures and algorithms, which is interview dose and system design, which is design dose. If you are looking for making a switch from service to product based or even make a product based to product based top tier switch and aiming for your dream company, this is the best curriculum you can ever join. I'll be your mentor throughout the cohort and I will help you clear all your doubts in the one on one sessions. You can know more about this by querying us on the WhatsApp number or you can also visit our website techdose.co.in. In this solution using a try, what we can do is we can insert each of the column into the try and then search for the word count for each of the row or you can do it in the other way around. That means uh, insert each of the rows into the try and search for every column matching the rows. Okay, so you can do it in any way. So my code consists of inserting each of the column into the try and searching for row. In this dry run, I will be explaining using inserting by rows and searching by columns. So first I will insert 3122. And uh, you can see I have inserted 3122. The word end value will be 1, uh, which is basically the word counter. After inserting 1445, you will see 1445 have been inserted with word end value 1. Right? Now again, if I insert 2422, then after inserting 2422 the word end value will be 1 but again if I insert the same string 2422 the word end value will be incremented and the try structure will not change right so this is how we can do insertion of each of the rows into the try now I can take a counter equals to 0 and I can now iterate for each of the column so first column is 3122 and I will start my try search from the root node and I will see what is the first item that I want to search 3 is there a pointer to 3? Yes. So I'll go to 3. Again, I want to uh, search for 1. Is there a pointer to 1? Yes. Now, uh, the, the next one is 2. Is there a pointer to 2? Yes. The next one is 2. Is there a pointer to 2? Yes. Whatever is the word and value here, it will be the frequency of how many 3122s are present. And this is equals to 1. So 1 will be added to this. Similarly, I will repeat the process for 144 and for 144 you will see from the root node I will go to 144 4, and then from this 4 there is no other uh, child as 4. So that is why this will have no contribution. And similarly for this 2422, you can search uh, starting from the root node again 2422 and I will stop here and see that the word encounter is 2. That means there are 2 two four double twos present in the rows so we will add two to it and the count will be three if i search for two five two two then i will again start at the root node as usual and then i will go to two and then i will uh, try to go to five but there is no pointer to five from two that is an empty pointer or a null pointer so that is why i uh, i can say that two five two two is not present into the try so the final answer is 3 after having iterated for each of the column. Okay. Now let's see the time complexity. In this case, to build the try, uh, we had to go for each of the row and insert it into the try. Or in the other way around, you can go for each of the column and insert it into the try. You can follow any of the process. So let's say that you have inserted each of the rows into the try. There are n number of rows and each rows have n number of items. So the time complexity will be n square to build the try. And after the try has been built, what we will do is we will iterate for each of the column and every column has n items. So total of n square matches you need to do into the try. And so the try search will take order of n square. 
and these two are separate process the try building process is a pre processing step and the next n square is the searching step so you can just add it up and write it as order of n square equivalent and since we know uh, that uh, the n value max of n value in the constraint was given to be 200 which is 2 into 10 to the power of 2 so that is why the overall time complexity being n square this makes it 4 into 10 to the power of 4 which is very very less than one second that means one second is equivalent to 10 to the power of 8 operations right so this is how we know that the try solution is one of the most optimal solution and it will definitely work so let's now look at the code in this code you can see that i have taken a try node structure uh, where we have a word end frequency counter and we have the child pointers okay so this is the simple structure you can even take a class object and uh, this is the main function which is the driver uh, here we have uh, got the grid as an input and uh, we declared the root node then we will insert all the columns in the dry run i had showed that uh, we will be inserting all the rows but you can also go for inserting all the columns so i will insert all the columns using the try insert and after that for every row i will see how many column matches are there and uh, that is how i will keep on incrementing the counter and finally return the counter so if you no try uh, then you will uh, easily follow this code of try insert you see that i am iterating for each of the column and inserting every column and once the column has been inserted i will just do word end plus plus that means frequency plus plus after inserting the entire column and in the try search it is a simple try search where i will be iterating for each of the nodes and if at certain point i find that the child node is not present that means the string does not match otherwise even if everything matches but still if we do not have a word end counter greater than zero then also it means that there is no frequency for the given word otherwise we will add the frequency so this is the simple code uh, for this problem i hope you were able to understand it if you have any problem then please comment below and i will try to help you as soon as possible like and share our video and subscribe to our channel in order to watch more of these programming videos see you guys in the next video thank you